uh, directing the Robotics Research Center for the last 16 years. The center strives to advance the frontiers of research in the areas of dynamics, mechanism, dynamics and control, which is spearheaded by my colleagues uh, Dr. Mani Kanton and Dr. Spandan Roy, as well as in the area of UAV design and control, which is spearheaded by my colleague and friend Dr. Hari, as well as in the area of areas of robotic vision, navigation, AI and learning. Uh, which is looked after by me. The center is uh, well funded by the government agencies, the public sector and private industry as well. The center is internationally well known, is visible and has a high standing in research within the national and international community. The center is well equipped with state of the art ground and aerial uh, robotic platforms, uh, sophisticated sensor suit like LIDAR, cameras, stereo cameras and uh, IMUs as well as motion capture system and 3D printers. Uh, this enables uh, newly joining students to immediately kickstart the research. I do my research here on autonomous drones. And here we have an autonomous drone that we made in our lab. It runs using a Pixhawk flight controller and has an onboard RGBD camera that helps it to perceive its environment. Now, we've given it a goal point outside the tennis court on the pitch. Now, as it takes off, it generates a depth map and plans a trajectory. So it climbs over the boundary in order to avoid it and goes towards the target. It goes at around three to four meters per second and goes very smoothly. And there it lands on the target. Drone delivery isn't science fiction anymore. Here at Robotics Research Center, we are working on various aspects of making drone delivery a reality. In this work, this is an elastic copter. This drone, unlike other drones, can change its shape and size. This becomes important because parcels, they don't come in a fixed shape. And this drone can adapt to the shape of the parcel and fly. This becomes very important because in a large scale scenario, these variations will create inefficiencies. Incorporating Elasticopter in these large scale scenarios can make the whole process efficient and profitable. I mainly work on the flying robots that design and control of uh, the so-called unmanned aerial vehicles. So in past, I, I work on mainly on the design and control of like fixed wing unmanned aircraft. But recently, I am also like uh, working on the very ambitious part called uh, aerial manipulation, where these uh, UV can fly and pick and place an objects, okay, in real time. Uh, pipelines are omnipresent and they require regular maintenance and inspection uh, to avoid fatal accidents. And so we developed an in-pipe inspection robot to make the process effortless. Our pipe plumber robot uses a mechanically controlled differential system that modulates the track velocity based on the structure of the pipe. By doing so, we eliminate the slip and drag providing the motion smoothness for the robot and also we eliminate using electronic systems to control the robot. For complex pipe networks, we are developing a flexible pipe plumber robot that adapts and maneuvers through the pipe network uh, by using its body flexibility. I have joined Robotics Research Center in 2019. I am a control theorist who has a special and keen interest in robotics. At RRC, I am specifically working on drones, for example, drone delivering unknown payloads, reconfigurable drones, bipedal walking, robotic hands, etc. Research interest broadly lies in the areas of robotics and control, more specifically, uh, designing multimodal uh, mechanisms related to locomotion, manipulation, and grasping. Modeling the drone dynamics and controlling it is difficult because the drone has to carry a payload and drop it which changes the mass and inertia parameters. Also there will be external disturbances and non-linearity. So we develop adaptive controllers which adapt the dynamic parameters on the go and overcome the uncertainties. This makes the drone delivery much more safe and efficient. We primarily work on the self-driving car. We develop novel algorithms for path planning, perception and navigation. We utilize various sensors like LIDARs, stereo cameras and IMUs for the same. We have shifted our focus to vision and language-based navigation. In layman's terms, this means that when we give a natural language instruction to the autonomous vehicle, something like park next to the red car, the autonomous vehicle must be able to execute that maneuver. Here in Robotics Research Center, we extensively work on vision-based robotics. My thesis and uh, research over the past few years have been mainly focused on a prompt statement called visual servoing, which is a technique in which we visually take information from the environment and help the robot to intelligently navigate. Uh, over the past few years, we had uh, successful publications in premium most uh, robotics conferences like ICRA, Coral, IROS, etc. 
I'm currently working on building facade segmentation. It is an important problem in computer vision because it is essential for uh, many applications like scene understanding, scene reconstruction, robot navigation, uh, infrastructure assessment, etc. As humans, we inherently understand the shape and orientation of an object. For instance, when viewing an object, we know the direction of its forward, rear and other sides regardless of its viewing angle. Robots use this information to manipulate objects in their environment. Our project Draco learns an object's orientation and reconstruction with peak supervisory signals since then supervision is hard to obtain. Draco recovers object-centric representation that captures its dense shape and orientation from a monocular image.